everybody. Happy Monday and happy first day of distance learning. It's Miss T here back with another book for you guys. The book that I chose for you guys today is called Sheila Ray the Brave. So as we start our first day of distance learning, some of you guys might be a little bit nervous, but I know you are all very brave and will do your best. So let's read. This book is Sheila Ray the Brave by Kevin Hankies. Sheila Ray wasn't afraid of anything. She wasn't afraid of the dark. Why are you sleeping, Sheila Ray? She wasn't afraid of thunder and lightning. And she wasn't afraid of the big black dog at the end of the block. At dinner, Sheila Ray made believe that the cherries in her fruit cocktail were the eyes of dead bears, and she ate five of them. At school, Sheila Ray giggled when the principal walked by, and when her classmate Wendell stole her jump rope during recess, Sheila Ray tied him up until the bell rang. I am very brave, Sheila Ray said, patting herself on the back. Maybe don't do that one. Sheila Ray stepped on every crack in the sidewalk without fear. When her sister Louise said that there was a monster in the closet, Sheila Ray attacked it. And she rode her bicycle no-handed with her eyes closed. Yeah, Sheila Ray, her friends yelled, clapping their hands. One day, Sheila Ray decided to walk home from school a new way. Louise was afraid to. You're too brave for me, Louise said. You're always such a scaredy cat, Sheila Ray called. Am not, whispered Louise. Sheila Ray started off skipping. I am brave, she sang. I am fearless. She stepped on every crack, and she walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. And she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She climbed up them and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked and walked. She turned corners and she crossed streets. It suddenly occurred to Sheila Ray that nothing looked familiar. Sheila Ray heard frightening noises that sounded worse than thunder. She thought horrible thoughts. They were worse than anything she had ever imagined. I am brave, Sheila Raid tried to convince herself. I am fearless. The sounds became more frightening, and the thoughts became more horrible. Sheila Ray sat down on a rock and cried. Help, she sniffled. She thought of her mother and father and Louise. Mother, Father, Louise, she cried. Here I am, a voice said. Louise, Sheila Ray hugged her sister. We're lost, Sheila Ray said. No, we're not, said Louise. I know the way home. Follow me. Louise stepped on every crack, and she walked backwards with her eyes closed. She growled at stray dogs and bared her teeth at stray cats. In 
and she pretended that the trees were evil creatures. She jumped up and broke their fingers off. Snap, snap, snap. Sheila Ray walked quietly behind her. They walked and walked, they crossed streets, and they turned corners. <laughs> Soon, their house could be seen between the trees. Sheila Ray grabbed Lu Luis and dashed up the street. When they reached their own yard and the gate was closed behind them, Sheila Ray said, Louise, you are brave. You are fearless. We both are, said Louise and they walked backwards into the house with their eyes closed. So just like Sheila Ray, sometimes not everyone is always brave, but we could always rely on the people around us to help us out. So I hope you guys liked your book today. I will see you again tomorrow, and until then, always remember to be responsible, respectful, and safe. Bye.